We're not quite sure what the real, uh, uh, what really influenced these guys, but we do know that they did access uh, radical Islamic jihadist websites. And whether that was simply to validate what they already believed or whether they fell under the, the spell of those uh, websites, I think that remains to be seen right now. Well, our biggest mistake in the past has been to underestimate these guys and to think that they are, are poor and illiterate and so on um, uh, and uh, uh, me medieval in their outlook. Uh, they're using very modern tools. They're bomb making and so on is highly technical, highly proficient in uh, many parts of the world. Uh, they communicate regularly through the, uh, 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 through the web. Uh, they even adopt um, uh, American names and sometimes even enter through chat rooms, one of them playing a male, one playing a female, and uh, you think that they're just connecting, whereas in reality uh, they're passing information to each other and maybe, maybe even launching a, a, a terrorist campaign. These um, young men seem to have very much the profile of the bombers in 2005 in London. The, the parents were themselves very moderate. They, they had just come for a better way of life and, and the, their kids had been born or are naturalized in the UK and uh, there were no radical influences within the household but they fell under the spell of of radical Islam, either online or through um, uh, radical imams in their uh, local mosque, things like that. Seems to be a very analogous situation to what we're seeing here.